Now, whether you're caulking your bathroom sink, the trim around a window, or your bathroom tub, you're gonna follow some of the same principles every time you do it, and we're gonna cover that on our bathroom tub today. Let's get to it. Now, before we get started caulking, we have to make sure that we clean and dry off the surfaces very well. This will ensure that the caulk adheres properly. Now, there's four places where we wanna caulk our tub. Think inside corners when we caulk. First, the most obvious, around the top of the tub. Right where the wall meets the top of the tub is where we wanna put our silicone, our caulk, all the way around. The second is from the ceiling to the top of the tub in that back corner. There's two corners in most showers. Some have three or four, right? Depending on what you have. But you wanna make sure you get that inside corner caulked as well. The third is right where your tub meets the floor. And the fourth one, and this is one that gets missed often, right around your fixtures. Now, if you have one that's embedded in the tile that's a little bit more sealed, you don't have to worry about this too much. For us, our fixtures are sticking out from the tile, so we need to make sure we reinforce that. I always do the sides and the top, but you wanna make sure that the water doesn't get behind the wall. To spread the caulk, you're gonna to wanna to put even pressure on the trigger on your caulk gun and slowly move it across the surface that you're caulking. This takes a lot of practice. It is an art form, so don't get frustrated if you feel like you don't have an even spread going on. So once you have the right amount of caulk in there, you wanna take your finger and pull it along that surface slowly. You're gonna have a lot of caulk built up on your fingers, so you wanna have paper towels nearby. But the point here is you wanna get the right amount of even pressure so that you get enough silicone down inside that corner, but that it also looks good too. If you feel like you have too much caulk, just go ahead and put a little bit more pressure on your finger. Start lightly and then increase the pressure as you move forward. Now additionally, if you have a glass tile border, I highly recommend that you use clear silicone here. If you use white, it will make a white streaky mess across that tile. Now one other area that you want to make sure you keep in mind is the niche. If you have a niche cut out in your shower, you definitely need to caulk within here as well. You want to caulk each of the levels, but specifically the bottom. You need to make sure you don't get any water behind that wall. Now that you're done caulking, the most important step comes. Let it dry. Make sure you give it enough time to dry or otherwise if it gets wet, the caulk's going to come off and you're going to have to do that job all over again. Also, take care of your caulk containers. Cap the tops when you're done so they don't dry out. I like to use these guys right here. They do a great job keeping it moist inside so that the container doesn't dry out. Until the next time, keep doing it yourself.